Okay. So uh, now I would really like to know what was your path, you know, when you entered into Kaggle to becoming a grandmaster. So what all difficulties you faced? How did you go ahead with it? And how did you achieve it? Uh, so uh, when, when I'm, I'm talking to a lot of people who are new in Kaggle and they want some kind of tips and tricks. So I, w I was like them. So I also needed some tips and tricks. And when when I had joined Kaggle, it was, uh, I think, back in 2013, although my profile says I joined nine years ago. But uh, I started in 2013. And uh, at that time, uh, I was I was doing something entirely different from machine learning and I wanted to learn machine learning and I saw this platform okay nice there is an image completion going on I like images let's start with this so start building something basic and I uh, I was obviously uh, from the bottom in the leaderboard and uh, then I saw the solutions from others and uh, I started looking into new terms okay what is random forest I don't know okay random forest uh, started with random forest. I came across decision trees. So going basic and looking into different terms on Google or YouTube and looking for tutorials and videos and also reading some research papers. So that's how I began. And I think uh, now nowadays, if you if you have you have so many resources to learn this theoretical kind of things, right? All all kinds of theory on different channels. And then w once you go around applying, you once you have you have to find a project and you have to apply what you have learned. So I think that's the best best place to do that is doing some kind of machine learning competition. So I'm not saying go to Kaggle and go to a uh, Titanic competition because that has already been done several times. So try something new and uh, obviously you will fail a lot of times, but you can learn from people uh, who succeed. So definitely, so that, that is was, rightly uh, said, I have referred many people kernel you know, and based on that, I've learned a lot of things with respect to the life cycle of a data science project, like feature engineering, feature selection, and many more things as such. So uh, this is awesome. And uh, just tell me, like, um, there's one misconception that uh, whether a single person will be able to crack a Kaggle competition or they need to be a group of people, uh, you know, because I've seen many group of people will also be participating in Kaggle itself, right? Three to four people. So what do you think about that? Um, definitely, you can. You can. Uh, a lot of people have uh, competed individually and uh, have succeeded a lot of times. So th there's nothing new about that. But when you're in a group, probably you have some advantage. Sometimes you also have disadvantage. Like you, you see a group of five people, but probably only one of them is working in that group. So that's the disadvantage of group. But when when you have a good team, then yeah, it's much better to learn from others. If you don't have a team, if you want to be a grandmaster, you have to get, so there are different levels on Kaggle, right? And if you have to reach the grandmaster level, you have to get uh, a gold medal uh, without any team. So that's also very important. If you want to reach there, you have to do this thing. And uh, I have seen a lot of uh, competitions even recently in which uh, individuals have won. So that's definitely something that people have been doing for a long time and they will continue doing. But see if you are ranked 20 or 25 and you see like most of the teams in front of you are uh, teams actual teams or groups and you are doing it individually and still you rank 20 or 25 i think this it's, it's a very good rank and it's uh, like if you write about this in your resume i think uh, it will matter a lot so okay. now you share the part now you do the sharing part of it okay perfect <laughs> Um, now, one thing that I really want to ask now, there are various medals also, right? Gold medals, other type of medals, silver medal. Now, how do you get this kind of medals? So at a specific rank, you have to come, then only you'll be getting it with respect to various competitions or how it is? Yeah, so um, not sure of the actual formula, but uh, I think it depends on the number of people competing in uh, in the competition so you have a certain category of people who are on the top they get gold medal and after that some people get silver and some get bronze some don't get any kind of medal so uh, but i'm not sure of uh, how they calculate it exactly and gold oh. gold medal is the like most important like people like it anyhow you have achieved it who cares, right? <laughs> Once you've done it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's nice to, that feeling is nice when okay. you win a gold medal. Okay. 
so okay so what i have heard about your machine learning book right that has recently come i definitely need a copy of that you know i need to read i need to see that what you have done and all so yes tell me about your new book uh, what what it actually solves what is what is the kind of problem statement how it is different from other books that are already in market yeah um so first of all i'm i'm uh, um i'm very thankful to you for talking about my book and uh, definitely you don't even have to ask for a copy <laughs> and uh, uh so the book is called approaching almost any machine learning problem and this is something that i have learned in the past 5 or 6 years so when, since i started i so i started accumulating a lot of different scripts and putting them on my github in private repos if they're not good and i i keep reusing them so i still use something that i've written 3 years ago and uh, so this book combines everything that i have uh, accumulated in during these uh several years and um it's it's a compilation and it's all about applied machine learning so uh, if you know a little bit of theory and you don't know how to start with pro- projects because i've seen that people know about categorical variables people people know what categorical variables are but when when they have a real problem and they have like a missing value in categorical <laughs> so they fail so how to how to deal with these kind of problems so um yeah everything is totally applied so it expects you to know some theory or just get the book and i'm writing a book called uh, approaching almost any machine learning problem and it's uh, about uh, applied machine learning so uh, when you know a little bit of theory so i've seen people who would know about categorical variables and uh, but when they are presented a problem with categorical variables most people fail and that's because they have never had any kind of exposure to any kind of applications of this so that's what the book provides and uh, um i'm i think i i don't even ha- have any count of how many different kinds of data sets i'm using in the book so for every different kind of thing i'm using a new data set i've also created some uh, fake data set to go with the problem so uh yeah i have everything ranging from feature engineering to a uh, feature selection and going into images and text data but from a applied point of view so that's that's what makes the book different from what we already have and also the price point is different because i'm selling it for 15 dollars which is quite cheap and uh, probably i will reduce it further depending on how if people have people are interested i will just reduce it further so so that so that anybody can have it and one more thing i would like to mention that if you if you think like you have some financial problems and you're not able to afford 15 dollars then uh i'm creating a form fill that, fill out that form and i will send you a free copy okay, so perfect so that's amazing i i just want everyone to have it yeah that's that's an amazing initiative itself uh, i just really want to ask you one thing is that i also have written a book uh, quite long back one year back uh, okay. how much how much time it took actually to write the book so that this will give an idea to everyone <laughs> so uh, i mean most most of it came from uh, six, last six years of experience so um, i i write quite fast um if if like if everything is going fine in my life then i might write more than 20 25 pages in a day uh, so the book is not huge it's um, less than 300 pages somewhere between 270 to 300 pages so uh, it it did take it, it did take a while i think i had already announced the book sometime maybe 2 years ago people don't even remember so that's when i wrote the first chapter of the book and uh, now i'm finishing it so yeah it took a long time if if oh, you so count you the have, time you of all the you are really a uh, uh, good author itself it takes a lot of time to write something you know suddenly it should be coming yeah it does take inside, a lot of time to write and something and you should be true true and you should be able to explain it in very simple way and uh, that also takes a lot of time uh, code takes a lot of time in these kind of books because you're not writing a story you have a lot of code involved and uh, that takes a lot of time so this is obviously right if you have your own uh, editor if you have your own <laughs> you know who's uh, who's actually creating that whole book itself but uh, usually we true. have different kind of pressure when you are writing for someone else you know <laughs> 